Okay, I'm packing. I'm leaving tomorrow on a cruise. And well, actually, we're going to New York City and then we're going on a cruise and I have to pack. I've not packed at all, which is a little bit alarming because normally I'm like a, a week in advance packer, but it's okay. I'm not going to stress. I'm going to start by packing the easy stuff. I always tackle the easy stuff first, toiletries. I don't know if I'm going to bring my Bayes travel thing. It just might be too much. I think I might actually just bring this gross, disgusting, I need to clean it, travel thing. Because I don't think I'm going to bring all of the skincare products that I would typically like I brought last time, I just don't think I need. So I'm definitely gonna bring my Flex sunscreen and then also my LTMD sunscreen because it's better for the beach like when I don't want to have any like color or tinted anything on my skin. And then I need a good face oil. I think I'm gonna bring the Summer Fridays oil. I need to buy a lip sunscreen. I don't have one yet. I'm gonna buy one. Maybe in New York, I don't have one, but I'll buy one. Um, and then I do want to bring my Drunk Elephant Night Serum, but I think I have a little sample of it. Like, that's why I always get samples from Sephora or like little 100 point things. They're really good to travel with. See, instead of this whole big thing, I'm just going to bring this little serum. And then I also have to bring, okay, I can't live without my vitamins and my um, symbiotics, my probiotics. These are the Seed DS01 Daily Symbiotic. I have worked with Seed many times before on my channel and Instagram just because I truly cannot live without them. Like, I don't know, if I forgot these at home, my life would be over. They just make my whole digestive system like just feel so much better. As you guys know, I always, always talk about how I have an issue with bloating, but since I started taking it, it's like night and day. I wouldn't say it's like completely gone because I think that really is my diet and like what I eat, but I can still enjoy the foods I love without having to worry about all of like the digestive issues going on. It really helps with that. What I love about seeds so much is that there's so many systemic benefits that go beyond just digestive health. It helps maintain your gut barrier function. It helps with your skin. It promotes like really nice glowy skin. It helps with your cardiovascular system with your immunity there's so many amazing benefits that just go beyond your digestion the seed is a 24 strain broad spectrum prebiotic and probiotic what's great about seed is that they have a capsule and capsule technology so the prebiotic is actually the capsule and then the probiotic is inside and the outer barrier actually makes it so you don't need to refrigerate them so you can take them when you travel without having to worry about having a refrigerator or whether they're going to go bad and it's just so easy to travel with you have your little carrying case you don't need to worry about refrigerating them and you don't have to worry about messing up your digestion because you can bring them with you and it's super easy see so does have a refill system which is great because you don't need to worry about running out every month they will be delivered to your house and what's amazing is that the packaging is also very gentle on the environment and your refill comes in a home compostable packaging which is amazing so thank you seed for sponsoring a portion of today's video i absolutely love them and any chance i get to get a coupon code for you guys i want to take it because i think everyone needs to get a good prebiotic and probiotic in their life and this is just my favorite so you can use the code tony to get 15 percent off okay so that is definitely coming with me um because like i said being on a cruise with like all the different food and without promoting my gut barrier and helping with my digestion, like it would just be a recipe for a disaster. And then I don't know what else I'm missing. I think I'll bring my perfume. Ooh, this one, I think. This one I got at Anthropology. It's like, it's called Fig. It's a random perfume. What do I normally bring that takes up so much room? Like what, what was going on? I think this is all I need. And then for my makeup, I'm going to bring it in this drunk elephant and then for my makeup I'm just going to pack it in here. I need to go through this. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to pack and throw everything in my luggage and hopefully it won't take me all day because last time I packed it, it really took me a long time. But every time I pack, I've gone on a few vacations, every time I pack it just gets better and better and easier and easier. We're on our way on our 
beautiful trip. We are going to New York and then we're taking a cruise to the Bahamas. We're going to Orlando. Uh oh. Um, but it's really early. Our flight is at 7.30. So we're, we were up and at it at 4.30 a.m. Um, you, fa you fell asleep at like 9 p.m. last night. No, 10.30. She like, just knocked out. I was, I was up so there, like, tired. So we're heading to the airport now and I'm gonna document our New York trip. My camera, I forgot to charge it, but I'll find a way to document it either way. You should try the cream ones too. We're at the Real Real now, the store, and they have some really cute things. They have these Emma sandals, these. These are to die for, but everything, the price of everything is just crazy. They're too small, but how cute are those? Cute. Oh, so cute. No, no. Turn to the side. <gasps> oh, let's show them these delicious, delicious sandals. <laughs> We're at ALC. Put on the brown. Yeah. Oh, they're just so warm. And you have your Prada ones in black. Okay, so we just got back to the room, or we just got we checked into the hotel. Our room was ready. We're staying at the public hotel. It's really nice. The room, the bed. Nikki's on the bed. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, my camera's gonna die. I might chargers in my luggage which is not in here right now okay i'm gonna switch to my phone because i need to show you guys everything i got today i really apologize for the quality for the next few minutes i am the worst i put my um camera charger in my luggage which is with nikki's parents because they drove our luggage so we didn't have to deal with it flying and everything and for some reason i'm a dummy and i didn't put it in my carry-on Today we had a really successful day. I It was way more successful than I had ever anticipated. Every time I come to New York, we never, I never buy anything. There's never anything that I really want. But we're staying in, so like we were shopping in Soho today, which is way better. Obviously like the first time you come to New York or the first, like whatever, it's fun to go to Times Square, but I'm not uh, the biggest fan of Times Square. I find it overwhelming where are we staying like what's this new one? like bowery close to soho and nolita that sounds like gibberish to me we like were shopping in soho today and as you can see behind me it was very successful i tried to get some footage which you probably saw but i'm gonna do a little haul like i have never had such a successful shopping day and nikki can vouch for me like all of these things i genuinely couldn't pass up i couldn't pass it up there were also things that like you have been literally wanting. could never get at home. Could never get at home. I've been wanting specifically the shoes I got for months now. I've been like ooing and aahing over them and they're just so nice. Oh, we're also getting Chick-fil-A. We Uber eats it. Because <laughs> we haven't eaten since brunch and our dinner's um, at 8 p.m. and we're starving. Anyways, let me get on to the fun stuff. Let me show you everything I got starting. We'll go in the order that I bought everything. 
13,800. Okay, so I saw, I think, these shoes first on Mariana Hewitt, and the moment I saw them, I fell in love, and that's how it typically works with me. Like, I will, it's like love at first sight with everything. If I'm kind of like iffy about it, especially a luxury purchase, it's just not coming home with me. These, I didn't want to really order online because. I didn't know if I was gonna love them specifically on my foot. So I was like, when I go to New York, I need to go see them at the Valentino store. As you guys know, chunky, really chunky shoes are so in right now. And so the ones from Versace are just like a little bit too chunky for me, but these are chunky but dainty at the same time. They also have a um, shorter version, like the heels 120 millimeters instead I think these are 160 millimeters. They have a shorter version, which is the ones I actually wanted to see, but they didn't have them. And I just fell in love with these. Once I tried them on, I just knew. So I'm gonna start talking and just show them to you guys. They make your leg look so beautiful. Oh my God. I was debating getting these in black or this color. They literally they, melt into the wall. They, I know, they they look a little bit crazy right now, but I will, I'm gonna obviously style them for you in a few upcoming videos. It's not a stark white, and I have so many pairs of black shoes that I was like, I don't need another pair of black shoes. I want something that I don't have in my collection. And the way these look on your foot is just truly, there's some sort of magic going on. I love the toe. If you watched my, um, U.S. haul when we went to Plattsburgh. I tried to order a dupe. I've tried to find dupes for these for months and nothing has come close to being as beautiful and stunning as these. Typically, I wouldn't buy a pair of white shoes going into fall, but it's a warm white, so it will look so good paired with browns and darker tones. They're just so absolutely stunning. I'm not over them. Nikki was like iffy about them in black, but then I tried them on in white and she was like, okay, I'm obsessed with them. Right? Yeah, I just didn't know where you were gonna wear those like big black shoes. But you like them in the white. Yeah, I love. I, I pictured wearing them with a like oversized suit on. They're intense, okay? They are definitely an intense pair of shoes, but they're actually pretty comfortable and easy to walk in because the heel, um, the platform is so high. I just love them, okay? I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, and some of you are probably gonna think they look absolutely crazy, but I'm obsessed with them. And I haven't felt this way about any designer item in a really long time. That's the first thing I picked up. And that was the first store we went to. So it was off to a good start from the beginning. Then we met up, we were with Jenna, who is Nikki's, like one of Nikki's childhood best friends. She lives here, so she was kind of taking us all around. We met up with one of her friends, um, Jess, who works at ALC, which is a store that I had never heard of before. You guys are going to freak out. I walked in not really expecting to get anything. It's a pretty expensive brand and they had really nice clothes. Nothing that really caught my eye. All really nice, but nothing that I was like, I need to spend that. Then I found this jacket, okay? Basically in the fall, all I wear is long coats. Like that is my outfit. They had the most delicious coat in the most delicious brown I have ever seen. It's the perfect teddy bear brown, okay? Let me just show you. I'm unwell. I would have to say that this is probably the most expensive jacket I have ever purchased. It was $1,200. But, okay, I know myself and I will wear this jacket every single day, all day long. It's, it's just, look at the color of this, okay? It's made out of an Italian wool. It went to the perfect length on me. It's oversized. Imagine whisper white. Imagine the whisper white sweatsuit under this. I love the ones from Zara. They're great. I wear them all the time, but I haven't seen one in this color and like that flows this nicely. But once like the fall comes, Zara definitely has some good, more affordable options. They're still pricey though. They're like $300. Then we went to look for Nikki's sunglasses and like, this girl has been on the hunt for a pair of sunglasses. She has such bad luck when it comes to shopping. I swear she never <laughs> buys anything. So then I kind of jokingly grabbed these Fendi sunglasses, which by the way, look at this case. It's literally like a super puff and it even has like a keychain. It's so cool. Look at these glasses, you guys. They had them in a bunch of different colors. They had a lighter tortoise shell. They had black. They had um, like a yogurt looking color. 
with this detail on the side. This detail on the side reminds me of the Versace ones. So picture this, these glasses, with that brown long coat. These two, like, oh my God, thank God I don't live in New York, I would have zero money. I was like, no more shopping, no more shopping for me. But Nikki's from Jenna was like, we need to go to Frankie, what is it called? Frankie shop. Frankie shop, and I was, and she was like, you've been loving oversized suits, this is the place to get an oversized suit. It's from Paris. It's a store from it's Paris. It's a store from Paris. Okay, you guys just wait. It's a very small boutique. They don't have like a bunch of stock, but whatever they have, like you need to snatch up and grab because they have literally one. Jenna's favorite blazer is this black blazer. Oh, she folded it so nice. This black blazer, it's, it comes in one size. It's really oversized, but I don't have like a good fancier oversized blazer. I have the linen one and I wear it all the time. So you can see it's very oversized. Oh, I love it. But it looks so good. Then while I was there, this girl was trying on a brown one with matching brown pants. And I was like, but they only had one. Just my luck, she put the blazer and the pants back. I got the most delicious brown blazer. I have a brown blazer from Zara, but it's a little bit more fitted. This one, same vibe, oversized, which you guys know I've been loving. Slouchy, it's truly like a boyfriend blazer. And so it's long enough that I could honestly wear it as a dress. Or if I don't want to wear it as a dress, I can wear it with the, brace yourself, the matching brown pants. I have to get these hemmed, they're way too long, but they were in my size. And just imagine like this oversized blazer with these matching brown pants, the Valentino heels, or even a pair of like, the girl who tried it on before me tried it on with the same Gucci slides that I had. So I did a lot of damage in the little time that I was in New York. Overall, I'm so, happy with everything I got. There's not, whoa. The Frankie shop is available online too, but I don't know if they ship to Canada. She said they do, but the duties are just outrageous. Right. That's and why you have to get it. That's why I had to get it. Even the jacket, I was like, maybe I'll just order it on the on the website. And she was like, they don't ship to Canada. So I was like, well, what the heck am I supposed to do? Going on a cruise tomorrow, I have to bring a wool coat with me. I think I'm just gonna put it in um, Nikki's car while we're on the cruise so I don't have to like cart it around and bring it through security. Do we have to go through security every time we get on the boat? Yeah, but it's like really quick. The plan right now is I need to body shower. Our room is so cool that there's a shower and when you're in the shower, you can fully see out right into the view of the city. So when you're in the shower, you can look out the window, but you can't see in, which is really cool. So I'm gonna body shower because I feel absolutely disgusting. I was really crashing and burning um, when we were walking around, I was like, I need to just relax. And then I think once we eat a little bit and relax, I'm gonna be good to go. We're going to American Bar tonight, super excited about. And then yeah, we, we're probably gonna be asleep early because we were up at 4.30 in the morning. Even though Nikki fell asleep at 8 p.m. last night. Yep, I did. I, I truly and greatly did. She fell asleep so nice and, and quickly. She literally just closed her eyes and then started snoring. I was not as fortunate. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I have my camera back again, but now I don't have my laptop because I forgot my charger either in one of the bags that I left in the car or in the hotel. So I don't have my laptop. Thankfully, I got all my work done that I needed to before um, I left, so I don't actually need my laptop, but we just walked around the cruise a little bit checked out what was going on we had some pizza we had oh we also got our drink package they have every drink possible we didn't get the alcohol package because it's a hundred dollars a day and we're not trying to get wasted they had put made us two beds but of course we, we want to sleep in the same bed <laughs> so here's the balcony oh my gosh you guys I, I, i'm a cruise girl now we're gonna relax a little bit and then we're gonna go just eat at the buffet tonight because it's been a long hectic day not hectic but just long and then we're gonna go to the comedy show the comedy show maybe we're gonna go see the ice skating show we'll see where then it's a very chill vacation we'll mm -hmm. just see where the day takes us okay so for the first night we literally just rolled out of bed and got thrown a dress 
Um, we're just going to the buffet, so nothing too crazy. I have this dress from my Zara haul, which is like a midi length. I threw on my Hermes size, the best sides ever, threw my hair in a little bun, have my vacation bag, and then also my new Fendi glasses. I normally don't love a lot of detail, but I love this gold on the side. It is the first morning on the cruise. I look crazy. We slept amazing. I've literally never slept like that in my life. I was literally just rocked like a baby to sleep. Like we fell asleep in two minutes. In two minutes. We were watching Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. This is just shocking to me. Like we are currently on a moving vessel through the ocean. <laughs> just chilling. I think we're going to go grab Starbucks and then sit on our balcony and drink it. We woke up a little bit early today because I was, I'm a dummy and forgot to turn off my 7.30 alarm. So we're gonna just chill and relax by the pool. It's gonna be really fun, but we definitely need coffee. This is a, oh. 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 This is a beautiful. We're living our dream. We got our coffees and we're on our balcony. <laughs> Well, we were in New York and it was windy. I think I want to live on a ship. Look at the waves. Wow, 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 this wow. It feels like a dream. Wow, wow, wow. It looks like a dream. It does. With your coffee. Gonna we're going to sit at our table. Oh, hello. One sec. Okay, so we were at the... Um, we weren't really at the pool. We were kind of just sitting at the front of the boat tanning all day. And we had the best lunch. And then we came back to the room, relaxed, showered. We went on the water slide. Oh, we did go on the water slide. Nikki got soaked. Um, and then we got ready. This is what I'm wearing for dinner tonight. We're going to kind of like the steakhouse. This dress is from Zara. I thought it was very appropriate for a cruise. Um, nor my usual bag and sandals with my hair up because I could not be bothered to wash it. Nikki, let's see your OOTD, you look so beautiful. I am wearing a, my white baby doll dress from Aritzia. Mm -hmm. My little slides from H&M because I could not be bothered to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And what's your lip combo? Because it looks beautiful. My lip combo is Wherever Walnut by Makeup Forever. And then this lip gloss that Tony has from Clarins that is like so good here natural lip perfector in the shade i think six or something yeah in the shade six and then on top i put the tarte maracuja lip plumper in cherry blossom and you also put a little patrick ta liner and a little bit of patrick ta liner to brighten it up very beautiful but yeah i'm really into pink Mm -hmm. It days. looks really good you did your whole, all your makeup all by yourself i told you tony taught me how to do my makeup I used all her makeup And today. her eyeshadow. Your eyeshadow looks so good. We're going to go for dinner. Um, and then we have an illusionist show, which is really fun. And, and what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, yeah. we're going to go to the slot machines. We love the slot machines. And tell them about the one that we love. Heidi, we've just been playing the slots. And Tony hit a big one. I won 100 bucks. I won $100 <laughs> last night. Then I lost 50 so I broke even. So tonight I'm going to try to win more. So, um, this morning we woke up later than yesterday and we went to eat breakfast at Johnny Rockets, which was great. The breakfast sandwich was really good. Then Wait, we, we went, didn't talk about it. It was really good. It was really good <laughs> because we asked for crispy bacon and it was just really good. Then we went to Starbucks, grabbed a coffee. Then we played a game of bingo, which was really fun. We didn't win it. Actually, Nikki's dad did win something and Nikki's mom also almost won something, but she called bingo too late and that was a whole drama. So now we came back to the room and we just saw that we have... Pulled up to the port in Port Canaveral. Orlando. Orlando. We have to meet to go to Disney at 1 p.m. And so we're just going to get changed quickly and then we're heading to Disney. We're going to Epcot because last time we were there, we didn't do it properly. And there's a new ride? And there's a new ride that Nikki was up at the Crack of Dawn booking. Look at that. We just had a hot dog because we have like a little bit of a journey. We made it to Epcot, we took the bus and then the monorail and now we're finally back. First thing we're eating is this cheddar bacon soup from Canada. 
and this petite filet with truffle butter and apparently these are both to die for. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Good? Oh my god, you're gonna die. We live in Canada and Never had that. Unfortunately, we don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm trying the filet mignon. Good? Good. We can take a mushroom. Very good. Now we're in Italy. We tried two gnocchis and a frozen margarita. How is it? Is it good? Taste it right now. Oh my god. It tastes like a frozen lemonade. Everything we wanted at Universal. But oh my god. Get. Stop it. All right, so 30 seconds later, they're almost done, and this one is the clear winner. This one really didn't taste like much. Now we're trying the dumplings from China. It's hot, y'all. It's really freaking hot. Tony did not like the sauce. I didn't like, I'm not a sweet, a sweet and sour girl. And we have full stomachs. Oh yeah, perfect for a roller coaster. <laughs> That's Mission Space. Oh, where are we going in now? We're going in here. Galaxy of Atmosphere? Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. <laughs> it's Disney's new, newest roller coaster. We're eating dinner on our balcony because we just left, so we're gonna watch it leave. And we got a quesadilla, <laughs> fruit, a Caesar salad, and some chicken That's tenders. That's not a Caesar salad. Oh, shoot, a Greek salad and some chicken tenders. So you may be wondering, Tony, what happened? You didn't film the whole cruise. And that's because I'm the worst and I just forgot that I was doing that. Like midway through the trip, I was just like, I guess I was so relaxed that I was just like, I don't need to vlog. But you guys honestly didn't really miss that much. We went to Coco Cay, which is um, one of their own islands. It has like a water park and a beach and it was all really nice. I took a few pictures you can see here, um, but I literally was just a beached whale. And then the next day we went to Nassau, which was beautiful. The water was like unlike I've ever seen. Like look at this water, it was amazing. We got off the boat, um, walked around the little town that is kind of at the right at the port. I bought a ring, you guys. It has, this lighting is not doing it justice at all. I don't really buy a lot of jewelry um, at other places. I, I really only wear CNC and like my Cartier rings. But the price of this ring was so good, I couldn't pass it up. I fell in love with the ring and I've never seen um, like brown or cognac diamonds before. It was also tax free, which was great and the price of the ring was just incredible. So I got it at Diamonds International. They were so sweet there. They have a few other locations. I'm definitely going back because the prices were amazing and their jewelry, they had the most beautiful tennis bracelets. I was debating it, but then I remembered that I'm making a whole line of tennis bracelets for CNC as part of our Lux collection. I was like, I don't need to buy a tennis bracelet because the ones that we're making are just so beautiful with the same crystals that are in our Lux rings and the same amazing quality and I'm making them in emerald, yellow diamonds, and clear diamonds. While I was there, I also picked up these dresses from a little boutique. I believe it was called Dash. It was right in the port where the cruise docked and it was the cutest boutique. The woman who worked there was so sweet and had the nicest dresses. And as you guys know, I've been loving midi longer dresses so i got this white one which is like a white linen and has this beautiful crochet kind of detail from this brand and it's so so beautiful just with a pair of slides or even heels and then this is actually the first dress that caught my eye it's a beautiful crochet dress but what i love about this dress so much is that there's a slip under so it's not like you could only wear it to the pool. You can actually wear it as a real dress and it has this beautiful detail, perfect for summer. Again, from this brand, I don't know. I'll try to find it online for you guys, but both dresses I just fell in love with. And so then we went back on the boat. It was so freaking hot. I had never felt heat like that in my life. And we literally just relaxed. I read a book, I read Reminders of Him, which was so good. and. I cried like 12 times. So overall, it was a great time, super relaxing. I'm sorry I didn't vlog more, but you didn't really miss much. But I wanted to show you this dress because it's one of the outfits you missed and it just needs a moment. If you didn't watch my Zara haul, my birthday dress video, this one right here, I showed it, but it needs its own moment. And then it also looks really good with the Valentino heels. Can we just take a minute? Can we just take 
a minute so I'm obsessed with this dress like I said in the haul it's giving me Dolce & Gabbana with that like beautiful print the very saturated colors the terracotta the purple it's crazy how much my style has evolved. If you haven't seen this video, definitely check it out because I talk all about how my style is changing, why I stopped following trends and started dressing for just really what makes me feel the best. And I just realized that longer, looser dresses, things that aren't so tight, just make me feel the best. I wanted to try it on with these heels because I didn't really show you them properly in the video. But look at how stunning they are. And I've seen them on so many people recently and they look so good on everyone and i got a lot of questions as to whether they're comfortable or not because there's such a high platform they're actually pretty comfortable just be careful because the toe is pretty narrow they do fit true to size these are a size 36 i believe yeah size 36 and that's typically my size so yeah once again i'm sorry that the vlog kind of was so yeah once again i'm sorry that the vlog was kind of all over the place and just kind of cut out in the middle of the trip so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out c down below and i will leave everything i wore or mentioned or bought linked as well don't forget to subscribe for new videos i have so many fun videos planned for the fall i love you guys and i'll see you guys back here next time bye